Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 3rd of April 2021 for all signs. So I hope you're well and um, let's get straight into your reading. Um, I might well have a day or two off doing readings over the Easter period. Happy Easter to everybody as well. So I'll see how it goes. So what do we have please? What is the message for Saturday? Okay, I've got Trader. I've got exchange energy to create abundance, trader. What do we have, please? What is the message, please, angels, spirits, guides? So this is Tarot of Dreams, and I'm also using Kyle Gray's I think it's Angel and Ancestors Oracle cards. We've got the Three of Swords, Ace of Wands. King of Wands. Page of Cups. King of Swords. And I've got the World. It's interesting, I have two kings. Now, sometimes that can be one of these, can be you. Um, generally, I've got Leo, Aquarius here. Um, doesn't have to be those signs, can just be the energy of. Uh, it, it is an energy here of, um, but it, it can also be, I've got the Ace of Pentacles here, or Ace of Coins. It can also be two people. This this Three of Swords with the Page of Cups sounds, it feels interesting. Let's clarify that. Yeah, so I felt this I felt this energy quite strong. I'm seeing two people here. So here's the thing, there is definitely an energy of someone had i mean obviously timing is fluid so we have the three of swords which can be about emotional pain hurt um something that cuts deeply you know it's not always an easy energy it's a test of a relationship seeing the truth that cuts deeply third party situations heartbreak it feels in this respect to do with it, it feels in this it feels to do with love romance relationships but there's definitely an energy here that somebody from the past is coming back because they're sorry. You know, the Six of Cups with the Page of Cups. They're hoping for some kind of possibility of making something right, it feels. Um, you know, this, this is an equilibrium energy, you know, the Six of Cups. So feeling, uh, wanting to restore a happy equilibrium or harmony. An, an apology. Um a gesture, call it what you will, but it feels in this energy you're already with or see the potential with somebody new. So I've got the King of Swords, male or female energy, but there's definitely some kind of new opportunity here. Um, this is passion, desire, uh, heart and soul energy, something that you absolutely 110% want to take action to. You see the real potential with somebody here and it's like opening a new door with somebody. Um, there's definitely an energy with this King of Swords. King of Swords is somebody who is... I mean, they're very intellectual. It's Swords energy to do with the mind. Um, so very clever, visionary energy somebody who's probably very straight um, but nevertheless is somebody who is honorable uh, there's definitely an energy of somebody who is honorable and you, it feels that you see the potential with this person of honor male or female like i said but i definitely feel that there is some this exchange to create abundance is it feels in this situation somebody who you completed a relationship with maybe it feels they're coming back 
Uh, King of Wands, the world card is major completion. I'm not going back. You know, with the world card, you don't go back. You know, it's that kind of energy, not going back, only going forward uh, because you've drawn a line and it's a finite line under a situation. So there's been a major completion here. Yeah. And absolutely taking steps towards abundance. Um, the Ace of Coins is can be financial career opportunities as well for some of you. I mean, that res might resonate. Um, it is also the beginnings of abundant, you know, the beginnings of feeling solid, stable, secure, and definitely seeing the potential with somebody in a relationship. The new beginning is with this king. It feels that, that the new beginning is with this king. Let's clarify this world card. Oh, I don't, I don't need to. I've already got the answer. Uh, death. So there's definitely been an ending here. Um, it, it feels like you're drawing a line under a situation, and there's definitely the potential with somebody new, and that's why it feels in this situation exchange energy to create abundance. Well, this is the beginnings of abundance. This can also be about moving, relocating. Um, Offer, you know, it can be offers on property. Uh, I mean, call it what you will. It, it feels it, it is the beginnings of abundance, and that's the beautiful thing here. And it's interesting. I'm seeing the circles as something completes. There is definitely this kind of like new beginning here. It feels that that journey has completed, and you're ready to start that new cycle. Phoenix rising, out with the old, in with the new which is at the bottom of that deck. So interesting energy. It feels that somebody is coming back from the past, but you're seeing it feels like you've you've moved on. Yeah, you've moved on. It's interesting as I said that. Yeah, I just feel that you've moved on. Yeah, I walked away from the Ten of Swords, which is a hurtful situation, pain, loss, um, betrayal, stabbed in the back, call it what you will. There's definitely an energy that somebody is is regretting their situation here. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely feeling that somebody is coming back because they're wanting to make some kind of loving gesture here. But I'm, I'm feeling that you've just drawn that situation, you know, is, is, is finished. And I definitely see potential with somebody here. Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah, that's where the new is, the Empress. Um, she's the, the blush. She, interesting enough, she's a, an abundant energy. Um, she's also about nurturing, something that you want to nurture, something that you want to pay attention to, tend to grow. Um, and she's all about the promise, the potential of love, romance, relationships, very good in terms of money and career as well. But I definitely see somebody new for you. Um, it feels like your focus, your eyes, are already on somebody new. Um, I'm definitely seeing that energy. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. Okay, so let's pull a final card. Okay. So I've got grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Yes. And I pull, yeah, you see, shedding an old skin. You know, when I see an old, uh, the snake image, it is all about transformation. But for me, it is shedding an old skin. So we have Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. It, it just feels like someone's coming back, but... And they might have walked away, you might have walked away, but I, I was definitely feeling as that card fell out, you've moved on. You've moved on and you've walked away from the disappointment of what this was. And you're not looking back. You know, this is somebody who doesn't look back with the Eight of Cups because this Eight of Cups can be a card of disappointment. It can be a card of uh, also in terms of saying goodbye. It can be also emotionally moving on for me as a reader as well. And it just feels in this situation you're interested in somebody else. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. I wish you all a happy Easter um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.